If you want to see more electrical and electronics engineering related videos, then check the playlist section of this channel. In this video, we will see an example on phasor relationships for circuit elements. Question A series RLC circuit has R is equal to 80 ohm, L is equal to 240 millihenry, and C is equal to 5 millifarad. If the input voltage is V of T is equal to 10 cos 2T, find the current flowing through the circuit. So here, first of all, we will write what is given. So the value of resistance is given. R is equal to 80 ohm. Then the value of inductance is given. L is equal to 240, 240 millihenry. So it is equal to 240 into 10 to the power minus 3 Henry. Then the value of capacitance is given. So C is equal to 5 millifarad. It will be 5 into 10 to the power minus 3 farad. If the input voltage V of T is equal to this much. So voltage is given V of T is equal to 10 cos 2t volts we have to find the current flowing through the circuit that means we have to find i of t so i of t is equal to question mark now here first we have to find the impedance total impedance so to find total impedance we have to find the individual impedance of each circuit elements so, impedance of a resistor, it is given by, let's say it is Z1 and it is equal to only resistance R. So, it will be 80 ohm. Then, impedance of capacitor let's say it is z2 and it will be 1 upon j omega c so first of all we have to find the value of omega so let's find the value of omega first here we can see the value of voltage is given and we know that v of t is equal to vm cos omega t plus Phi. and here if we compare this with this is standard equation so here we can see omega is 2 so therefore here we can write omega is equal to 2 radian per second so this will be 1 upon j into 2 into c value is capacitance value is 5 into 10 to the power minus 3 5 into 10 to the power minus 3 so therefore z2 is equal to let's solve this in calculator we have to put the calculator in complex mode so shift 2 it is already in complex mode so 1 upon i into 2 into 5 into 10 to the power minus 3 i into 2 into 5 into 10 to the power minus 3 it is equal to minus 100 j minus 100 j and since it is impedance so its unit will be ohm then impedance of inductor impedance of inductor let's say it is z3 so z3 is equal to j omega l so it will be j into omega value is 2 into inductance value is 240 into 10 to the power minus 3 240 into 10 to the power minus 3 so therefore z3 is equal to we can solve this in calculator directly i into 2 into 240 i into 2 into 240 into 10 to the power 
माइनस थ्री टू इंटू टू फोर्टी इंटू टेन टू दी पावर माइनस थ्री सो इट इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट फोर एट जे जीरो पॉइंट फोर एट जे ओ होम नाउ वी गॉट दी इम्पिडेंस ऑफ ईच इंडिविजुअल एलिमेंट सो नाउ वी कैन फाइंड टोटल इम्पिडेंस टोटल इम्पिडेंस इज इक्वल टू जेड वन प्लस जेड टू प्लस जेड थ्री सो जेड वन वैल्यू इज एटी ओ होम प्लस जेड टू वैल्यू इज माइनस हंड्रेड जे सो माइनस हंड्रेड जे देन प्लस जेड थ्री वैल्यू इज जीरो पॉइंट फोर एट जे so now we can simplify this in calculator so it will be 80 plus in bracket minus 100 j then plus 0.48 into j so it is 80 minus 99.52 99.52 j 80 minus नाइंटी नाइन पॉइंट फाइव टू जे सो दिस इज द टोटल इम्पिडेंस वैल्यू दैट इज जेड एंड इट्स यूनिट विल बी ओ होम वी हैव टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ आई ऑफ टी एंड वी नो दैट आई इज इक्वल टू वी अपॉन जेड सो वी हैव टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ वोल्टेज इन फेजर डोमेन so first we will find voltage in phasor domain this is the value of v in time domain in phasor domain this will be v is equal to 10 at an angle 0 degree and since it is voltage so its unit will be volts so now we can substitute it here let's copy this from here voltage value is 10 at an angle 0 degree divided by impedance z value is this value so let's copy this from here we can solve this in calculator directly so let's solve this in calculator 10 at an angle 0 degree divided by 80 minus 99.52 into j so this is in rectangular form in polar form this will be shift to 3 so it is 0.078 0.078 Zero point zero seven eight at an angle fifty one point two, at an angle fifty one point two, and since it is current, so its unit will be ampere. Now we got the value in phasor domain format, in time domain, in time domain this will be I of t is equal to the formula is I m cos omega t plus Phi. So this will be I of t is equal to I m value is zero point zero seven eight zero point zero seven eight zero point zero seven eight. Then cos omega value is here we can see the value of omega is two. So this will be two t plus phi value is. This is the value of five fifty one point two fifty one point two degree, and since it is current, so its unit will be ampere. So this is how we can find current. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Also, check out the other videos related to electrical and electronics engineering. And thanks for watching.